Hello everyone. Just a quick update. Uh, if I sound a little different, that's because I tested positive for COVID-19. Luckily, I only have some light symptoms, so there's nothing to worry about. And I will continue to upload videos and stream twice a week. One being straight after this video goes live, so be sure to join me there. With that out of the way, welcome to the chapel series. Let's get straight into it. So today we will be expanding on the chat commands and how you can add custom command identifiers. And we'll also make a quick roll of the dice function so people can just say explanation mark roll and they will get a random number for example. Okay, so we got our client on command received. So if someone uses the command identifier of exclamation mark uh, and then says for example dice, uh, it will automatically run this command. We set this up in the first episode. I will leave a card up in the top right corner. All it says right now is ain't got no dice. So it would be nice if it would actually be able to do something here. So we're just gonna remove this and put in a dollar sign. The dollar sign will allow us to add these squiggly curly brackets. Sorry, don't know the correct terminology. Uh, and that allows us to use the data directly in the string and don't and we don't have to use pluses and stuff like that so what we can do is use e which is all of the data we got from that command so the person who ran the command uh, anything in the chat uh, we can get everything basically so e dot command dot okay and then we can say command text command identifier chat message, arguments as string, arguments as list. And if we say the chat, that chat message, we can get the display name, which we are after right now. So now we can uh, reply to the person directly saying, hey, uh, person X, you've rolled uh, number five, for example. But this is just going to be an example. So for now, it's just going to literally say that name. And if we want to have a number, uh, we don't want a randomized to run this function every single time. We want the number itself to be randomized. And this is very easy, okay? So pay close attention. We're just going to go to the bottom and create a function. This is going to be a private int. Oh. Because we're gonna return this. This might seem a little confusing. Why aren't we using void, for example? Why are we doing this in a different function? It'll all come together. Don't worry. Okay, you can, you got this. And we are gonna call this function uh, dice or roll. And as you can see, it looks just like a normal void. You've got the uh, the public private. You got our type, which is an int in this case, and we got the name. We can give it arguments, but we don't need that for now. The only thing is that we got a problem, and that is because bot.roll is unused. That's not a problem, but the real problem is here. Not all code paths return a value, and that is because this is an int. It expects us to return a result. So what we can do is create our int value and we can return value so we got our variable and you got a return but we still need to assign a value to our variable and this is very easy we just create a random we call this rnd which is just a standard naming for random and this is a new random and we initiate that close that line that's all we need to do for that that's a randomizer and then we say value equals rnd dot next and we give this the values one comma seven one being the minimal number and seven being the max number it does only go up to six though i assure you that and this is our role but we can also make this a little more flexible so we can also call this r and d for random and then int we give it a int min and int max 
And instead of having one and seven, we have our int min, and we got max plus one. So we can just enter the actual max number. So now, when we go over here to our dice command, we can say the user rolled, and then we use these brackets again, and then we say random int. We give our values one and six, and done. Okay, so how about we test this out? Let's run our bot. I'll open up the chat and you should see it up on the left side of the screen once I type the command and it is connected. So now if we say explanation work dice. It'll show up and the bot says rolled five as you can see right here. Uh, we can also, before we continue, make this show up in our console because now it looks like we have said we have run a command but we didn't get a reply. So we can just kill the bot right here. And what we have is our console.write line. So we can just copy a line like this, for example, and make it basically say the same. But we might just get a random value. So first we gotta make a string and we call it message, which is equal to this entire string. So we cut that, we paste that, and now you can just say message over here as well as over here. Just a little different, but that's just a personal preference for me. I want to make sure where everything comes from. Or we can just literally do this again. Message after we add the dollar sign here, of course, which is just regular good old C-sharp. Okay, and now we have rolled one, and it says the same in chat as you can see. Right. God damn it! I'll just detach that. So now we get one. Now we got five. Let's see if we can get six. Six. Yes, we finally got it. Oh. So to add a new chat command identifier, all we have to do is call our client and say add chat command identifier like this. And now we can add HR. Make sure these are single quotes, not double quotes. Double quotes will uh, define a string and single quotes will define a char. So we can just do it like this. Now we got our different command identifiers. Now we can use that just like that. Let's quickly clear the chat. Okay, our bot connected, so now we can say nice. And it works just like that. I will admit, I like roll just a little bit better, so I'm gonna keep it at that. Uh, but basically, that's it. You've got your own roll commands to make your chat bot just a tiny bit more fun to use and interact with for your viewers and maybe for you. I hope this video helped you with your chat bot and that you learned something. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I'll be going live on Twitch right after this video. We'll be playing some Osu. I'd love for you to join me. See you next time.